Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Fantasy General 2 Invasion. It is by Owned by Gravity and Slytherine, and it released on September 5th, 2019. Now, this game looked really fantastic. I kept coming back to it and like, should I play it? Should I play it? Should I, should I reach out? Should I try? I don't have time for... Can I make the time? Anyway, long story short, I've decided I'm making the time. The game looks too good to pass up. I'm going to hop in. I'm going to play it. I'm going to see how it goes. I have the first game. I either got it on sale or it was free on GOG or something at some point. But I have yet to play it, so I was about to hop in and play that a little bit, and then I'm like, you know what? I want to start fresh. I want to experience the series for the first time with the new game. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hop in, we're going to play, and hopefully we're going to have some fun. So let's do it. Invasion uh, looks like normal difficulty. You know what? We're just going to leave the difficulty on normal. I generally like to play games that way, especially games that I don't know what I'm doing in just yet. So Okay, so this scrolls around. All right. Faction, Barbarian, Length, Long. 300 years have passed since the Shadow Wars have ravaged Keldonia and the world of air, and the struggles of the past have long since faded into legends. In the highlands of Far Reach, clans of barbarian warriors have eked out a living in the harsh northern climate, constantly feuding with each other and raiding the wealthier borderland towns. Fed up with these raids, the borderland clans called on the Empire a powerful realm controlling much of Keldonia. The Western Imperial Legion was dispatched to see off the Highland Raiders and, with the help of Borderland clans Iseal and Machnar, destroyed High King Brendan's army in the Battle of Worms Pass. Cool. A treaty was signed that forbade any clan from crossing into the Borderlands in return for peace. Since then, there has been no High King to unite the clans, they fell into quarreling and raiding amongst themselves. In these dark times, your clan has been led by Felir One-Eye, a warrior of great renown. You are his son and designated heir, and you are eager to prove your mettle to your father. Cool. I'm excited. Let's, let's see what this is all about. You can restore badly damaged squads with gold at any of your faction's buildings? Okay. That's Felir One-Eye. The winter is near, son, and the harvest was poor this year. We need to get food for the clan to survive. Clan Dona, I got nothing, uh, has more than enough wealth to spare. This is a chance to prove your mettle, raid their steads, and bring back home some good loot. Thank you for trusting me with this, father. That's Falirson. Clan Donag won't even see me coming. I will raid them and return laughing at them, scratching their heads. I will do my best for our clan and make you proud, I promise. I know, son. This is why I trust you with this task. Take some of our younglings with you. They seem eager to prove themselves as you. Be quick, son. This is a raid, not a war party. And watch out for direwolves. They are roaming the highlands again, all hunger and teeth. May our ancestors watch over you. Good. Oh, camera controls. Welcome to Fantasy General 2. To move the camera, move your mouse over the terrain. Press and hold the left mouse button and drag the mouse. You can also use the W, A, S, and D, or WASD keys to do so. And Q and E will rotate your view. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with the controls and then press continue. I am familiar. All right. Take your time to familiarize yourself with the interface. Every element has a tooltip to provide you with useful information about it. If you're ever unsure what to do next, press the next unit button to cycle through your units with actions left. It'll take you to your next unit awaiting orders. Likewise, you can use the army bar at the bottom of the screen to manage your troops. Okay, raid the southern stead, western, and northern stead. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. We got some spears. We got some... I, what are swordsmen maybe all right so so what do we know about you guys oh uh, okay light spear infantry all right hold on uh, move the selected unit by pressing the right mouse button over a destination a tile within the movement range this range is determined by the unit speed or the little winged foot booty thingy value and the traversed terrain each unit can only be moved once per turn after moving a unit is a unit its movement action is depleted even if you haven't moved the full distance 
You can set waypoints for movement by holding the Alt button and right-clicking. Okay, that's good. Uh, moving a unit will also reveal unknown parts of the map based on the unit's search value. The unit moves into a forest tile, and no enemy saw them doing so. The unit becomes hidden. The enemy is unaware of a hidden unit's presence, which is crucial for laying ambushes. If the unit was spotted while on a tile they would normally be hidden in. The spotted icon appears. Good. All right, light spear infantry. Looks like we got some stats down here. We got four armor. We got three speed, three search, five out of five morale. Our weapon does seven damage. I'm not sure what the 56 means. One times eight attacks. Okay, and it's got four armor piercing. Uh, breaks charge. This unit cannot be charged by an attacker because they they will wreck themselves. All right, then we have the light shock infantry. They have no armor, poor guys. Um, yeah, they have a sword. They're currently in a forest. That's good. So we have a couple light shock infantry. Is that is that what we're looking at here? And then that's me, the chieftain's son. Do I attach to? I'm just a solo stand. Okay. I'm a hero. Okay, I'm not sure where I should begin. Well, I guess I'm to the south right now, so we are actually going to head to the north, and then the west, and then north again. Is what it looks like. So I imagine we want to try to be as stealthy as possible. Would make the most sense, so we're going to try it. I don't think we were seen. We're going to waddle our way on forward. Let me go take a look. We can zoom out. There are some dire wolves over there. That is a terrifying looking picture. They are hungry too. Alright. So we're going to move on up. Excellent. Alright, so that should be the end of our turn, right? We can hire recruits? Wait, what? We can see our inventory. We have literally nothing in our inventory. Ends immediately... We'll put all units with remaining actions into a fortified stance. I guess that's that's what we could do now. We could choose what we wanted to do. Melee attack, open skill tree. Um, uh, I think that we automatically we auto fortify. Because it doesn't look like we have an option to actually do that. Attacking. I figured I'd, I'd click on it to see if a pop-up would happen. And indeed it did. Hovering the cursor over enemies with a unit selected will display the combat breakdown. There you can see important information about the combat phases as well as the expected casualties for the battle. In Fantasy General, both parties attack in each combat phase if they are able to. You will notice that different unit types attack in different phases. Units can only participate in combat once per turn and attacking prior to moving forfeits the movement. Okay. Uh, breaks charge, so that is, okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm not actually going to attack. I'm just curious. So if we hover over that, I thought with the unit selected, if we hovered over, I gave a breakdown of what was going to go down. I guess that's not true. Maybe we can hit attack. Or, oh, oh, over on this side. Ah, hold control for details. I mean, we can't reach them, so that's probably what's going down right now. Alright, let's go ahead and end the turn. Wait, what's this? Click here to- oh, to hide the notification. I thought there was like an arrow saying I have another unit or something. Well, what was the next unit button? I don't remember what that was. I mean, like, I know they're all down here. And like, they've all moved. Alright, you know what? It's fine. Let's just end the turn. Is it my turn? Oh, it is my turn again. Okay, so here we are, the zone of control, very common in games like this, you know exactly how this works. Uh, all units exert a zone of control onto the six tiles around them. Ground units' zones of control only affect other ground units, while flying units' zones of control only affect other, only affect, only affect other flyers. Enemies cannot move through controlled tiles and are stopped when entering them. So if we went straight in and attacked, it probably wouldn't go super well. But if we move, oh, see, if we move there, that's going to be different. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to probably move up here. 
and I'm going to try to prepare myself for the the best possible victory. No, 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 no. Was was hold? Was it alt? Oh no, I think it was. Yeah, there we go. So hold alt to set that up. All right. So I don't know if I'm going to send him in to actually do some of the fighting first, or if we're going to have others, or what. But we're going to probably break off the turn, and we're going to attack now. And I'm going to say that the spearmen are going to probably be our best. Actually, they don't seem to do all that well. Charge breaking. Okay, hold on. So, so what are these guys then? These guys are light shock infantry. How much damage do they do? Oh, they do 6, minus 1.5, 1 to, to 10. What do I do? I just hit really hard. I have a lot of HP, too. So if I attack, it's a decisive attack. If they attack, it's a stalemate stalemate and looks like a stalemate again so yeah I'm going for it surprise BAM I only killed one of them that seemed underwhelming and they didn't attack back either oh I didn't have an animation but they actually did attack back okay I gotcha all right we're flanking them now Doing a bit of old damage. I can't go there because of. Yeah, all right, that's fine. We're gonna move there, and we'll end the turn. Let's see what their thoughts uh, Yeah, I figured. I figured that the doggos are gonna be coming, and they did. They attacked uh, quite uh, heartily, we'll say. Big old hit here, and I think these guys can take them out. Maybe these guys can. Will we take them down? Oh, resting. Your unit is badly hurt and should rest to recover. Resting takes up a unit's whole turn and will recover all wounds, but not revive the dead squad members. And any morale lost at the start of their next turn. Okay. Any ongoing status effects the unit might have will also be cleansed. Protect your resting units well as taking damage aborts the process. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take care of these, these doggos. As much as possible. I think this should be able to finish him up without us taking. Oh, we still took some damage. That's unfortunate. Okay. The wounded and the dead units can rest to recover their wounds and heal wounded individuals so they become active members again. Whenever squad members are wounded, there is a chance for them to be killed, resulting in a black segment of the. Oh, so we did lose some people on this one. Okay. Uh, health bar killed unit members cannot be recovered by resting, but will be refilled with fresh recruits after winning the region. Placing dead unit members lowers a unit's experience, often resulting in a loss of levels. Okay, that's good to know. That is good to know. Alright, so I've already attacked as uh, Felirson. Now we're going to go with uh, Thorful's pack. I don't like the fact that if we kill them, that they get the attack back. But it's, it's fine. I see they did the free 14 damage there to us. I'm not a massive fan of that. I feel like that shouldn't be, but eh, I can accept it. Okay, so let's uh, let's end the turn. Right, who, who who's this guy? I guess we technically didn't take the time. Okay, now we did. So why didn't the other guy move over when we took? You know what? It's fine. Ownership and income. Certain locations like settlements where mana pools can be captured by moving a unit onto them. This will claim ownership of that location as indicated by the changing flags around it. Alright, that's fine. Uh, depending on your faction, certain locations provide you with gold or mana income every turn. Defend your own locations as they will be captured by the enemy. The barbarian faction doesn't collect taxes and instead relies on their ability to raid settlements to gain resources. This is started by clicking the raid skill while on a settlement raiding takes one turn, destroys the settlement, and provides ransom treasure. Sorry, random. Random treasure at the start of the next turn. I was thinking like you ransom back units because you took over the settlement. That's not the case. 
Raiding also destroys one wealth in the process and yields no results when all wealth is depleted. Okay, uh, notice the decreasing bar in the right corner? Uh, yes. This is the current region's wealth and the amount of gold and plunder available for the taking. It depletes with each turn, and the depletion is accelerated by actions such as raiding. Once the region's wealth has dropped to zero, no more gold or loot can be gained from any location in the region. Terrain affects units in a variety of ways. Forests and rough terrain have an increased movement cost for ground units, but they do provide valuable cover against charge and missile attacks while in them. Getting caught while crossing a river can quickly cost you some warriors. Pay attention to the tooltips of the different terrain types, as some provide different effects based on whether you attack or defend from there. Okay, all pretty much par for the course. Um, can I raid? Oh, I totally can. Okay. Uh, you guys should rest. You guys should rest. And you guys should rest while we raid. I'm going to go ahead and end the turn. Everybody is rested. Quest. Each region presents itself with one or several tasks at hand. The quest panel shows you what your current objectives are and that you, that you have to achieve in order to win the map. Sometimes optional goals will reveal themselves during play and will be displayed there as well. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm all over it. I know what's going down, sort of. Um, can I replenish you? need a hiring location but I can't do it maidens it's interesting are you maidens what do we know about you can I see more info on these guys oh you can you, oh you can upgrade oh you can and yeah they're maidens oh that's right this is this is pretty sick okay Alright, so what we need to do now is we need to head over to this other side. I'm going to go there. I don't think we've been seen yet. I'm going to cross the river. Uh-oh. I don't know that the wolves have seen me yet. I'm going to cross over here. These wolves have surely seen me by this point. Alright, the raided settlement. I think that's all we can do right now. So we're going to Let's see what happens. The wolves should come after. Not the ones in the water. That's not good. Uh. Okay, I've attacked. I wanted to attack. Ah. It's fine. Um, I'm a dumb, dumb head. It's fine. All right, we're gonna go here. We're hoping that nobody dies on this charge. Nobody did, so we should be able to rest and recover should be fine. All right, we're going to zoom back out. So I'm going to cross over to the water here. And the Terman stuff is, is is going through quick. It's a shrine here. What does that do? Team effects. You just received a team effect. These effects are applied to all your units and remain in play until you leave the current region. Certain team effects are granted from capturing locations. These are removed when losing that location to another faction. All active team effects that apply to your army are shown in the highlighted area. Oh yeah. 25 magic damage to our attacks, 50% magic damage reduction, breaks charge, all units gain protected, and a 15% reduction in chance to suffer kills. That sounds legit. Oops, sorry, wrong button. I'm gonna rest with you. Rest with you too, man. I'm a little concerned right now, to be honest. Like, we're, the wealth is, is, is cranking down pretty fast. And I'm not, I'm not feeling like we're going to be able to make much of an impact here. Alright, so if we go here and then here, that should be fine. I think I'm going to chill there. I can get all the way over there. Can I do that? Not the way I want to do that. Okay, no. Let me 
gonna move here, we're gonna move here, and we're gonna end our turn. We might be able to raid this one. I think I, I'm, I've, I've gone a little too overboard with like being careful and cautious. All right, so we just charged forward, we attacked. I'm gonna attack on the backside again here. Um, unfortunately, there's not much we can do here. I'm gonna cross over the river, let's see. They decided to attack our uh, spearmen. It did not do a lot for them, unfortunately. I'm going to take them down and claim that spot. Settlement, and I'm going to raid it. I'm going to burn it down. And it looks like we will have no cover for this next assault that we go and try to take. We're not going to be able to make it in time. Uh, unit upgrading. You have collected enough resources to upgrade the selected unit. Open the upgrade tree by clicking on the upgrade button in the skill panel. The upgrade tree presents your faction's unique... Sorry. Presents your faction's unique unit types. Okay. The higher up a unit is, the more specialized its role is. Upgrading a unit requires a... Specified resource, sorry, the specified resources and is not reversible. There are different trees for different base units. Try selecting another unit to see them. Um, at this point, all right, let's take a quick gander here. All right, so this is the younglings. They're there. We could upgrade them into slingers or axemen. Well, I, you know what? I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it immediately. There we go. I've upgraded somebody into a slinger. Um, let's see what we can do with the maidens. I imagine we don't have enough money at this point. So here we had th three different choices. We have javelin throwers, which I assume are yeah, skirmisher inf infantry, uh, spear maidens, just basically a direct upgrade, so better equipment essentially, and then stag riders, which are light magic skirmish cavalry. That's interesting. And then we can move it up to the Wolf Mother, which is Magic Support Infantry, which is an odd upgrade path. And then we have the Stag Lancers, which is still ma Magic Skirmish Cavalry. And then uh, the Wind Riders. All of that kind of goes down the same path. This turns it into Magic Shock Cavalry. Gets a little bit more armor up on there. Interesting. I I'm assuming. I, I don't really know. Oh, it does tell us some stuff here. Okay, Magic Javelins. Was reduced by morale instead, and it's oh, it's a range of one. Interesting. What about the javelin throwers? Range of one. Very, very interesting. I think that means we can throw it like over, like one tile away, versus within melee range. I think that's probably how it all plays out. I went too slow, guys and gals. I feel like I'm gonna fail this. For that, I do apologize, but. Yeah, it is what it is. Let's see. What's our range with you? Sling, two range. So how far out can we attack with this? Oh, okay. So yeah, we can attack two out. Which is interesting because I feel like the skirmishers only have one range. So they're still just going to be... Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Your turn. So if I move here... And I attack, they can't hit back, right? Yeah, that, that was a good attack. Now if I move here and I attack... A bit of damage. I'm gonna move there and attack as well. A bit more damage going. I'm gonna come over here. Region wealth is depleted, no more loot available. Press right mouse button to remove the notification. We end the turn. We're still gonna try to, to win this though. Alright, these guys are gonna get molly a little bit here. They are not having a good time. Oh, I couldn't even finish them. Oh no, I thought for sure I had that. Oh, that's not good. Is there any way I can save these guys? 
I don't think so. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to try to risk these guys a little bit to save the others. This is a, this is a bad turn of events. I, I made mistakes. They're probably dead. They're not dead. They can actually rest, which is really strange. They're gonna move here, we're gonna attack. Gonna move here, I'm gonna claim this place. Also going to raid it. And we're gonna hope that these guys have enough to take them down. It doesn't look like they did. If they attack, they will die. All right. We're going to hope that resting did... Oh, they're retreating. Oh, they survived. <gasps> they did it. We have raided enough to last us the winter. Let's get home before the Donag... The Donag H warriors catch up with us. Or the Donag. Dona? Dona. I, I got nothing. We have won this mission. That was a lot of fun. I like that. After completing a battle, you receive gold based on leftover region wealth, which is zero because I was bad. Uh, units that suffered casualties are restored to full health. Yes. But as new recruits join their ranks, their experience level drops. You can spend gold to fill their ranks with experienced recruits instead, mitigating the experience loss. Oh, that's interesting. Alright, minus seven experience for this. Is there a way to... You know what? That, that's probably fine. We're just learning. The first raid. You have done me proud, son. This will feed our clan for the long nights ahead. Winter supply is secured. You return to the quiet life in your father's halls. A few weeks later, your father calls you to his side. We have a visitor tonight, son. Dougal Ravencloak is coming here. I don't know what he wants, but many say, where the black bard goes, trouble follows. So we best not anger him. Treat him with respect, but keep your wits about you. Man dressed in a wide black cloak made of black feathers enters the hall, carrying a long trumpet crowned with a boar's head. His face is hidden by his hood, and his boots are frayed and muddy. We're just gonna call him Dougal Ravencloak. Thank you for welcoming me to your stead. I won't trouble you for too long. I just want to rest my weary bones by the fire for a night. Sorry, guys and gals. I keep getting uh, interrupted here. Uh, you are welcome to my house and hearth. Sit and eat with us. We don't have much, but what we have, we gladly share. This is very kind of you, Chieftain. I thank you for your offer. Oh, is that your son? It's been a decade since I last saw him. He looks like a fine warrior. The bard's dark eyes seem to peer directly into your soul. Tell me, son of Falir, what do you seek in life? Glory in battle. I want to lead our clan to many victories, inspiring our warriors. Blood and rage. I want to rally a horde of berserkers around me and overrun my enemies. Might in combat. I want to be the strongest warrior Keldonian, or Keld Keldonia has ever seen. Mm, you know what? I want might in combat. Is that so? Then let us all ask the ancestors to make you steadfast and lead you to your destiny. Now forgive me, I am weary after a long day's walk, and I must rest. What, what, what have you done? I felt a touch of cold freezing me to my bones. Did you indeed? Must have been a draft of night air from the outside. I will see you in the morning, Felier son, sleep well. To expand your army, use the hiring screen to hire new units. Hiring units requires gold and supply. If you want to hire while in a region, you also need a captured settlement from where units can be deployed. You can also hire mercenaries who are cheaper and do not require supply, but only temporary. Temporarily. Really? Mercenaries are cheaper? It's an interesting thing. Okay. Continue. All right, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for our very first episode. I am excited. I have no idea what this crazy-looking map means, but it's going to be a lot of fun, I think. I, Like I said, I really enjoyed my time playing. Hopefully you guys liked it and you are willing to check it out as well. If you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, the publisher, any of that wonderful fun stuff, it will all be down below in the description of the video like it always is. 
and various links and things of that nature. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys and or gals. And until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.